Hi everyone, Mark Durland here, and I want to talk about hitting the center of the club face, or as we refer to, centerness of contact. There's a couple important things when it comes to hitting the center of the club face. One very important element would be balance, and another one would be the path that my hands are traveling on to present the center of the club face. Now that second one is something that I see students struggle with often, and it's something I've been using in my coaching lately, and it's more a feel than, than what's really happening, but it's a feel that's helped a lot of students, and it might just help you. So what I'm talking about there is if you tend to hit it a uh, little bit towards the toe or the heel or maybe thin or too high in the club face, one thing that you can work on, and again, it's not a reality, it's more of a feeling, and I'll talk about the reality in just a second, but the feeling that I'll coach my students to is to try and get their hands to return to the very same spot they were at address. Now through science we know that when we get in back to impact the hands and the handle are a little bit higher and we have some drooping of the of the shaft or the shaft is actually curving and, and that's how the ball gets struck. But from a feel standpoint and learning to hit the center of the club face I think a great exercise is just Starting in your address position, think where the back of the left hand is. Take the club to the top of your backswing, and then just try and return the back of your left hand, if you're a right-handed golfer, to the exact same spot. Now, balance is fairly easy, and that's something that you can continue to work on. I think pace of swing has something to do with that. Another thing I like to coach my students to do is not to have too much weight in the toes or the heels, more in the center of the foot. So I think a good thought is to keep the weight under your shoelaces. So start to work on the hand path, start to work on your balance, and, and one student that I had uh, recently actually working on their hand path helped their balance. So he had a tendency to always fall towards his toes as he was coming through impact, hitting it in the heel quite often. And so we started to work on him returning his hands to the same spot, and then all of a sudden his balance uh, became much better. So doing these little things, we never know how it might quite affect our swing, uh, but it's worth giving a shot if, you, if you're somebody who tends to hit it around the face. One last thing and I'll let you go. Pick yourself up some of this Dr. Scholl's foot spray. You can spray the face and it's just a powder that's on the face and when you strike the ball, it'll leave a nice imprint of the ball. So you can start to measure where do I hit it on the club face if we tend to hit it all over the face, start to work on your balance, start to work on your hand path, and you'll start to see things improve quite rapidly. If you have any questions, please reach me at mark at derlingolf.com or on Twitter at derlingolf. Thanks for watching.